spot. Ease up ahead, let's try and bring you two closer together. Hello, welcome to F1 2021 with the second part of Breaking Point. And as you can see, I'm supposed to reach my teammate before lap 11. Now again, I kind of struggled uh, during this level and uh, it did take me several attempts. But I really had to just get used to the new handling of the car. And uh, on this track, it's also a little bit harder than in the last game. And uh, I found out I just need to be on it right away and uh, I got a purple first sector which is kinda decent I guess and that got me into the DRS window of Ricardo who's the car in front of me now onto the fast chicane we go took a little bit too much curb there and I uh, got some oversteer but I kept it on the track which is great and then now in the braking zone really able to catch up to Ricardo even more And in the last section I get even closer. Now exiting onto the straight and you really feel that differential working very much more than in the last game which is interesting. I can pretty easily pass Ricardo. He gives me the space I needed. Although that was pretty close anyway. Nice move. Good job. Now I got Russell in front of me on the hard tire and I'm already in his DRS window. I'm already pretty close to him without having to use the RS. And I just jam myself right in there. Not the cleanest move, but it's just AI, so uh, I can do it. Now lap 8 and I'm already on to Butler, not having the RS yet. But very quickly catching up anyway. Now already in Butler's gearbox. Which had not been the case during most of my attempts. And what I find interesting is that you can take that curb on the inside very quickly and nothing really happens so yeah some curbs your car will fly off and then on this curb it will stay perfectly on the track which is interesting. Well anyway I can almost touch a butler so I will get him as soon as I possibly can. And I'm gonna do the same as I did with Russell on the same part of the track but butler actually defends more heavily brakes earlier as well. So uh, yeah, that was again not a really clean move, but it's still AI. And uh, now I'm gonna have to close a 3 second gap to Ackerman. Casper is directly ahead of you. And one lap later I've already closed that gap for the most part. Right now at around 1 second behind Ackerman. And uh, I really had to use a bunch of VRS to get close. And uh, I made it through so we're gonna have the cinematic and the cinematic actually looks pretty darn nice in this game and these two have been fighting each other incredibly hard so far they don't want to go tripping over each other though because Devin Butler is coming up from behind he's on the attack too Aiden Casper's not your priority we need you to defend it's okay I've got this here comes Butler Three abreast going into turn 11. Oh, this can't work! And it doesn't! Ackerman's off onto the verge of what looks like damage as well. Is he okay? It's Casper okay. He'll be fine. He's heading for the pits now. You just concentrate on the race. Well, oh, there we have it. I think we're going to get fireworks tonight in the Alpha Towery garage. There will be, Crofty, for sure. Look, it was a late move from Devon Butler, but you never want to see two teammates make contact. And Ackerman will surely be seething at that one. Absolutely. And I'll tell you who else isn't going to be happy too. Aidan Jackson. Not how his F1 race debut should have gone. Appears to be minor. How's it feeling, Aiden? Yeah, car's okay. Understood. See how well you can do out there. Copy. So the objective now is just only finishing the race. And I won't have to pass any more cars, which is kind of interesting. And the objective actually made me not as pressured to drive as fast as I can so I'm just hanging around 
three seconds behind Butler for most of the uh, remainder of the race. Now, I wasn't exactly pushing all the way, but also wasn't driving slowly. Um, but sometimes Butler would get away from me, sometimes I would catch up a little bit again. So the gap is now 2.3 seconds, so I did close up a little bit of the gap. Now I was kind of trying to get Butler, but I knew that if I didn't, it wouldn't be a problem. Okay, at the end of the final lap, and I haven't been able to catch Butler, which luckily is not a problem. So I think in the part before the cutscene, Butler is actually slower. So I think that's part of the reason why I didn't get him this time. But anyway, thank you for watching and hope to see you in the next part. Okay, pick up rubber and bring it home. Okay, let's talk about that incident with your teammate.